Good morning, folks. Short and sweet this morning with only a couple items of interest and the need to keep eyes on our star, which will be happening all day. We are starting at spaceweathernews.com and we find the last 24 hours on the sun with the primary event likely noticeable at the southern filament that we have been watching. It destabilized and ejected part of its plasma with the rest collapsing down to produce a solar tsunami. The satellites are not updated enough to determine CME trajectory Maybe try your hand at that when they update today, and then tomorrow morning we'll see how we did. Meanwhile, the previous solar wind disruptions began arriving yesterday and were tremendously weak. Minor enhancements in the telemetry, and with its low intensity, we've got only a small rise in geomagnetic unrest leading into this morning. Quick note on the cooldown coming to the central and eastern parts of North America. Jetstream is isolating the western region outside of its influence. The high to low level flows driving that northern air southward will drop temperatures well below normal in the eastern part of the continent in the coming days. Folks, we've got about 10 tickets left for our event. If you will be around Colorado Springs on April 15th, we'd love to see you. Tickets available at the link below the video. Now, our Focus in Science articles today comes with a concept we have hit relentlessly the last year, and which is a critical aspect of solar climate forcing they constantly leave out of the models. The low latitude disruption of the ionosphere during solar wind coupling, which touches every altitude of the atmosphere through the global electric circuit. Not only that, but this one isn't about a coronal mass ejection or a coronal hole stream. This is simply the turning of the solar wind magnetism, the solar wind magnetic reversal in the heliospheric current sheet. Remember folks, those are always a double, not only relevant for the solar climate forcing, but that those can be scaled up to the galactic current sheet's impact on the sun. Thanks to everyone who pre-ordered the new book last night, everyone who does so this week gets their copy signed, and I want to answer the most common question we are getting. Hey Ben, I just got these books, now I have to buy an update all over again? Be clear. There is enough to update both of these books independently, but that would require you to pay for the same information you already have. This supplement, on the other hand, is only the newest information, and with these two topics colliding to a degree even beyond that forecasted in these books, putting everything in one supplement is how you deliver the newest updates to solar climate forcing and modern catastrophism as we march towards the next age of Earth. We greatly appreciate your support. If you don't have the previous books, those are available at otf.cells.com along with the pre-order of the new one. Eyes on the sun today and for the update to those coronagraphs, subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.